Here's the update I promised you from my last video. In the last video, I told you about this summary judgment that the village spent $12,000 on. The reason for this summary judgment was to do nothing but hide the truth. This is the truth. This is what happened here at this house. Two building inspectors, Joe Burden and Larry Tommaso, gave me violations for 16 different building violations on this house. Shortly after I responded to these accusations, they both resigned. Prior to the hearing for the, on the merits of the summary judgment, we had it down to 12 violations. At the hearing for the summary judgment, that was October 9th, 2009, Michael Hayes, the attorney for the village, dismissed the most serious of, them, of all the violations, and that would be the roof work done on the house without a permit. One hour later, I met with the third building inspector, Carl Pfister, and then town or village uh, board trustee, Colette Zio. In a very short meeting, we dismissed 10 more violations. This left only one more violation on the house, and that was new footings under the porch that were never there, and in a letter I've gotten from the uh, lawyer, Carl Pfister, during an inspection, could not find them. Go figure. Now, nobody informed the judge, Christine Sprogue, of these violations uh, being dismissed. I assumed they would, but nobody did. So two months later, she ruled against me. It was a big surprise when I got that letter in the mail. But I can't blame her because these were quite damning accusations, and it made it look like I was doing a whole lot of stuff here without a permit. Now, after the judgment, the building inspector refused to work with me about with the abatement of this stuff because it just you can't abate it. It's not here. He made three or four different uh, inspections, and there's a different story every time he comes up with a new one. Now, I have a letter from the attorney stating that he agrees now that I've removed everything, which again is another lie. The building department since then has either lost or refused to give me information that would prove my case. And I should be able to access this through Freedom of Information Law, but they just denied me everything I asked for. So next week, with the information I have now, we will make a motion to the court to set aside or basically overturn the court's judgment in this case because it was all fraud. We will also uh, post the paperwork up on the internet so you can all read for yourself what happened here. And the town, the village, is going to have to uh, give an answer to my request, and I'm going to post that too. I will also issue subpoenas for these people that I have mentioned to come to court and explain their actions and why they never contacted the court. I will also send this to the state, the, uh, the locals, the DA. I want someone to investigate this fraud. And I'm sure after the judge realizes just how much they've lied to this court, she will insist on this herself. Now I'm going to take you around and show you some of these violations that are no longer here. This bathroom was a violation. The only thing I did was tile work, patched it, painted it, put the old sink back in, put a new toilet in. All legal to do under state code and village code without a permit. I got a violation for putting a soffit in that covers up the plumbing that I put in. That's the only thing I didn't hear besides sheetrock. None of this requires a permit. It was a violation, then it was dismissed. Now they say it's gone. And still it sits here. This is 
is a tiny little apartment on a house. It's legal. This is where my daughter and my grandson are going to stay. You can see nothing's been done up here except for patching. Haven't got the painting yet. Putting in some new trim. And I'm redoing the bathroom. This is all legal to do without a permit, but it's been a violation. Then it was dismissed. And now it's removed, but it's still here. There's nothing to remove. Now I'm going to take you to the basement. This is where some big violations were. This beam I put in just to help support the floor. It wasn't illegal, but they said it was. Then they dismissed it. Then they said I removed it. Still here. I got a violation for putting in a new furnace without a permit. I never had a new furnace in here. Never bought one. They admit that now, but over here was the old furnace. They gave me a violation for getting rid of a busted furnace. Just junk. I got a violation for getting rid of trash. To close, five years of my life have been ruined by playing games in this court, and it's all it's been a goddamn game. A lot of your money has been spent on this. I was taken to court to be held accountable for my actions. Now I'm going to hold those accountable for theirs. There will be another update coming soon. Keep checking in. Thanks a lot.